Why did we get hand sanitizer? If we pet a horse. How many horses do you think we'll be petting? I, there, the possibilities are endless. Okay. We're packing because we're going to England. We're going to the Cotswolds. We're walking 102 miles down the Cotswold Way. We just wrapped up the last day of work. The excitement's starting to set in. Freaking out a little bit. You have enough underwear for... This is only half the underwear I'm packing. <laughs> we have been waiting for this trip for what, six months? We have been, that's when we booked it maybe? Six months? Oh yeah, we booked it six months, but we've been thinking about, dreaming about, planning kind of this trip for uh, years. It's tomorrow. And tomorrow's gonna be a very long day, but the best day. I just got the best sleep I'm gonna get for the next actually two days. Right now it's 7 a.m. Let's get moving. It's time. <laughs> Let's go! All right, we're leaving. So we're only going with one checked bag. However, it is 52 pounds. So airline limit is 50. Will they charge us slash what do we do <laughs> if, it's, if it weighs too much? This is the only thing that makes me nervous. Not only the oversized deal with the airport, but also just it's so heavy lugging this behemoth around. Granted, we only have to worry about that for like two days. But today is gonna be uh, it's gonna be rough. It is our burden to bear, but we did this to ourselves, so let's do it. We got it. I think this is set up to basically be like a like a somewhere between twenty four to like thirty six hour kind of day that really ends tomorrow. Yeah, today ends tomorrow. Yeah. Let's say we make it to 8, 8 p.m., okay. right? That is about like either 2 or 3 p.m. here tomorrow. <laughs> so we just have to make it to tomorrow early afternoon. Oh, I'm, I'm excited and sad. And then we're fine. I'm excited and sad. Nah, we're golden. All right, travel days. We can do it. We can do it. To the airport. There is one thing I'm not excited about. We are flying Delta and in all of my years traveling, Delta has lost my bag every single time. So, if we put an air tag in it this time, we'll see if they can handle it. Delta, not my favorite, but it was the cheapest, so. Turbo B. Hour four, it is 10. We have been trying to find parking for 30 minutes at the Orlando airport and there is not a spot. We have, I think we're on level eight now of this parking garage, so we're in trouble. No spots in Terminal B, so we're gonna try a different terminal, I guess. Not great. We did get here early, but if there are no spots in the next place, I don't know what we're gonna do. Ben, what are we gonna do? Ben is booking it, and I am running after him. Mm -hmm. Never trust the parking at the Orlando airport. Don't park here. It's a trap. We still have two hours, so we're fine. But we have to check in. We have to make sure our bag is under 50 pounds, which is not. It's 52. So are they going to be jerks? They have every right to be. But it would be just super cool if they weren't. They did not charge us. Uh, and they even put a little heavy tag around it. So they knew it was too heavy. So, all right, Delta, I'll give you one this time. Thank you. I think oh, we're okay. through the worst of it. And that was the worst. <laughs> There's an Outback and a Bahama Breeze in this terminal. Oh, it's 11 a.m. So we're on hour four, hour four of travel. Hour four, gotta go make sure that our gate truly exists before we can actually- And get our seats. Actually relax. And then we start the Terminal B bar crawl. <laughs> I need at least one beer to start the vacay. Settle me. Well, yeah, start the vacay, but also settle me down from that the last two hours. You know, one thing you forget when you get past the side of security is everything has to be plastic. So ordering a steak is uh, difficult. We got an exit row. How? Don't know how. It was about the cheapest ticket possible that wouldn't even let us pick our seats. And we ended up in a two-person exit row. 
Our boarding door is now closed. You may turn around a little bit. Mode. It is hour five of travel. I'm looking at videos of our dogs. Trip hasn't even started yet. International. <laughs> Hour 10 and a half. Starting to fade a little bit. Might have been the afternoon beer just making me a little cozy, you know, but the gators kick off in two and a half hours, so that's what that's what's really keeping me going. I'm excited for this one. I'm not excited for the fact that I'm gonna watch the whole game and then have only like two hours to sleep after that. That sounds like a future Ben problem to self. What I'm excited for at the end of tomorrow is the side-by-side -side of how we looked at the start of this day to how we look at the end of our day tomorrow. Yeah, no, that mouse straight up just crawled out. <laughs> Our 11. It's almost been a 12 hour day and we are still in Boston, but we are walking to the gate and 45 minutes. We take off 45 20, minutes 20. and then the gators play in. Whatever 45 plus 30 is. An hour and 15. So when you turn a corner in this terminal, it opens up into this beautiful area. So for what, three hours we've been sitting where all the mice live? Yeah, two hours. Um, but now we're like in the most beautiful, like, okay, Boston. So we found our gate, flight's delayed. It says now we're leaving at eight. Our plane's not here. Sit down um, and they haven't given anyone seat assignments because they overbooked and they're asking for volunteers. Some lady was already yelling about it. But they haven't even made any announcements. No, we didn't. Meeting. We walked up and like, can we get a seat? And one lady was like, this is unacceptable. And we're like, oh, okay. So hopefully we can make it because of a thousand reasons, but that's your uh, old 11 hour travel update. Oh boy. Again, for the passengers just joining us here at the gate for flight 58, uh, this flight is delayed due to a small maintenance on our aircraft. Hopefully, when we check back, we are on the airplane. We're getting on the plane right now. We're on the plane. No, we're not. It took a really long time. Well, we have seats. The people volunteered. They had to take 11 people off the plane. We were not one of them, so. Sunshine, if it's the excitement, I am ready to go. There's Turrell Street. We're looking up a hop on, hop off big bus tours for Oxford. So, if the math is mathing, it's hour 21 of travel, and we are still waiting on our bags. In, but they're coming. In 30 minutes, we are scheduled to take a bus to Oxford. Will we get our bag, go through customs, and make it on time? Update. We made the bus. It left 30 seconds after we boarded, which I'm not complaining about. It's really quiet in here. We're walking to our hotel. 
it is almost 24 hours. We're about to hit it, and I'm feeling it. I was feeling real optimistic a minute ago. We and are then, pretty much right at average 23. Oh, 23. See, I can't do math. And then we, and then we sat down for an hour and a half. It was over. So we're gonna we're gonna do our best. Check in, and then we're gonna do some sightseeing. my travel tip. First thing you do when you get to a city, do a, do a bus tour. Hop on, hop off, get some history, get to lay the land, and then you've got transportation, so win-win. Perfect in a place like this where apparently all of the different colleges here are scattered like by, by miles, so we would definitely not see everything on foot. And apparently most of them, you can only really see the outside anyway, to plan that ahead, which we did not. No. So this kind of works out perfectly for us. And we're gonna stay awake. And we're gonna stay awake. It's officially been 24 hours. We Look at it. us. We made it. Look at us. We're at a museum. Ben's a, Ben's a big museum guy. <laughs> I've lost him again. This is reading everything. Are you making fun of me? No. Right, we're on hour 25. A little, it's a little after one o'clock here, local time. We've currently hopped off of the hop on, <laughs> hop off bus. Found a little market, got some food. Oh, there's the Nando's right there. Oh yeah. So now we're trying to find our way back to our little bus. The bus stops, and we'll continue exploring Oxford. I feel great now that I had some food. Yeah. And a coke. That's, that was uh, starting to fade a little bit, but that was. Can you can you last till food. like 10 p.m. tonight? Can go all day, man. Can go all day. Hour 20. Seven? 27, 28, somewhere around Something there? Something like that, yeah. yeah. We're doing good. We're hanging in there. Gonna finish this half pint and then maybe get some dinner and probably call it a night. We, we got enough out of today that I feel good about what we accomplished given that we haven't slept. Could we spend more time here in Oxford? Absolutely, there's so many things to do. A lot of different things to see, places to eat, but I feel good about what we did. It's over, it's 4.30, we're done. We're eating dinner and we're going to bed. So I hope you enjoyed this extremely long day. What, 28, 29, 28? 28. 28. Solid two days. We will recharge and be ready for more stuff tomorrow.